so good afternoon each and every one my students explained about today verbs so main important parts of speech are verbs verb is a action word which denotes action so without verbs we can't frame a sentence verb is a main part of a sentence so one of the most important parts of speech verbs so in that verbs there are many types of verbs are there so first we discuss about lexical verbs lexical verbs is also called as main verbs there are two types are there one is regular verb one is irregular verb so regular verb and irregular verb are there regular verb means uh, there are five forms are there for verbs v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 so nothing but verb v1 is verb so suppose regular verbs examples walk walked walking walks see here v2 v3 uh, both are same and same ends with ed whenever b2 v3 words end with same ed means that is called regular verb that will be identified as a compulsory regular verb example walk walk walked so like that see b2 v3 both are same ends with ed so that is considered as a regular verb now coming to irregular verbs irregular verbs means b2 v3 different versions are there and v1 v2 v3 same are there so example drink drank drunk drinking drinks in the sentence sorry in the verb forms b2 v3 different version there again v1 v2 v3 same v1 v2 v3 same cut 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 put 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 forecast 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 see here v1 v2 v3 both are same so that is comes uh, that is comes under irregular verbs irregular verbs very easy to identify means v2 v3 uh, ends with ed that is called regular verbs whenever v2 v3 does not ends with ed means those all are comes under irregular verbs next one is helping verbs helping verbs means are nothing but be forms so helping verbs means present am is are past was were future will shall so pa, uh, was were means indicates past so for pronouns i we, i he she uh, we use was we use they were present i uh, am he she it is we use they are next future will shall i we shall remaining all pronouns we use will next one i am a boy he is a boy she is a girl same like that uh, he was a boy she was a girl see like that we should create an examples next one is passive verbs passive verbs means have has have has means present had means past will have shall have means future next one is modal verbs very very important that in modal verbs are there so uh, can could shall uh, should would may might need to use it to there uh, ought to should these all are comes under uh, modal verbs so modal verbs after definitely verb v1 will come can play can is the modal then after play v1 so modal verbs also we use verb v1 to preposition after also we use verb v1 so here see modal verbs can could can could tells about ability so can means present ability we should discuss about present i can lift the car now you can lift the car means in the present time we, we use can in past we should lift the car means i could lift the car car pa, could indicates past present indicates can next one should means advice ought to also advice but ought to we should give advice to elders so like that may might tells about possibilities may means uh, 50% chances might means less chances 30% chances so like that can could may of modal verbs are used to used to means past habits i used to play cricket in when i was young i used to play cricket so like like that so we should tell about past habits we use use it to and last and final one state verbs state verbs means uh, without body movements are called only feelings comes under state verbs example love sad happy uh, feelings all feelings comes under state verbs now transitive verbs and transitive verbs and intransitive verbs transitive verbs means suppose rama killed ravana in the sentence rama is subject killed is a v2 Uh, ravana is the object see subject there verb there object there so that is in uh, transitive verb transitive verb requires subject verb object but in transitive verbs doesn't require object rama killed enough that doesn't require any object whenever we doesn't require any object means that is called in transitive verbs whenever sentence requires subject verb object means transitive verb. only difference see observe sentence require subject verb object means transitive verb sentence doesn't require object means that is called in transitive verbs so these are the verbs so i explain shortly so these are the verbs